Hi everybody, welcome back to Friday Sews, August 27th, 2021. And in today's video, I have a few things to share with you. Um, I'm first going to start with some labels. So I got some custom labels made from Dutch Label. Um, I have the little uh, Seam Reaper logo that I made and I think in my last video I shared with you I have this on a shirt but I decided I wanted it on a clothing label so I had 30 of these labels made it cost me $40 and I actually have a code socialite15 that you can use for your own labels it's 15% off if you are a first time customer so I really like the quality of Dutch label um, these are the third set of labels, third or fourth set now that I have ordered from them and I just think they do a really good job and in my opinion they're probably the most affordable labels I have seen. Um, they can get kind of expensive and these are embroidered centerfold labels in case you are curious. Um, so they fold like that. Um, yeah, so they're like I think a quarter, an inch and a quarter square, and then they have a little taffeta at the top to stitch to the garment. So yeah, I wanted to share those. I really like how they came out. I really like this whimsical design, so there's that. The next item is, I have to like make a list because my memory these days, um, I don't have one, <laughs> so I have to write everything down now. So the next thing is, yeah, just yesterday I went to Joanne to take advantage of the McCall's sale and I picked up some patterns from, actually one from Berta and most of them, the others were from McCall's, so they were $1.99 for McCall's and then we have the $2.99 Berta pattern and I'm just going to take you over to the table and show you those because it's much easier to see. First up, we have McCall's 7381, which is a dress with some variations, obviously. We have one with got long sleeve, a little bit of gathering here, and it looks like it's got some pleating up here at the shoulder. Um, it looks kind of like a surplice bodice, and there is an option for a tie in the front, which is on C and view D, the longer version. I bought this for, well, I'm liking C, but I'm also liking B with the front tie. So let's take a look at the line art and see. Um, so you've got the bodice type with the tie, you've got it without the tie. Um, so yes, you can do a version that's got the tie with long sleeves if, if you want. I know it's not pictured, but you can totally mix and match that. And the appropriate fabrics for this are Chali, Crepe de Chine, Crepe, Cotton Blends. Um, and it does want a lining, so probably the bodice is lined. So yeah, 7381. Next is 7538. I have seen this pattern and wanted it, then didn't want it, wanted it, didn't want it. I, so I said, you know what, I think I'll just get it. And for patterns, you know, every once in a while I go through and I do like a D stash and I list them on eBay. Um, I'll, I'll put my eBay link below in case you're interested, um, but it doesn't matter. I just think sometimes, you know, when you get patterns or you think you might be interested and they're only $1.99, I typically buy them and then later I might decide I don't want them or more likely I already have them. <laughs> I just forget what I have. It's kind of insane. But here, I like this because it's got this um, detailing of these, these panels, which are like these kind of crisscross panels. And I think that can be very flattering. Um, and so this is for knits, for two-way stretch knits for th with at least 50% stretch cross grain. It's like jersey, cotton. So yeah, you can do a lot with this. You can color block it like you have here. I just think... Um, yeah, I think it's actually a really good pattern and I'm glad I finally bought it. This one is 7973 and I am pretty sure looking at this that I've either been looking at it forever or I actually do have it in my stash. I haven't checked. Um, I like the 
these sleeves. So let's put the line art a little bit better. These particular sleeves on view B, um, sort of, I guess, maybe ruching, you could call that. And uh, that's really why I bought the pattern. I think view B is the one I like the best. Um, and you can do some color blocking with the panels on the on view C. So yeah, I um, don't know if I'll ever make it, but who knows? I like to have options, right? You need to have options. And then here is a costume pattern. It's 8190, so it's pretty clear that this is a 20s type style um, coat. You can tell by the silhouette. And then you have a cloche hat as well. Um, Non-pandemic times, I like to go to 1920s costume events. And so I picked this up. I think it will be a great addition to my collection of 1920s type patterns. And here we have 8026. So I've been wanting to add some blouse or top patterns to my collection. I really like view C in particular here. Um, looks like view B has more ruffles. And then it looks like she's got some ruffles here. Let's take a look. Uh, yep. So you can do some paneling on view B, ruffles on view A. You could add the ruffles to any of these views and mix the sleeves as you please. Um, it calls for cotton blends, Shelly, Lawn, Crepe de Chine. So yeah, I need to make more tops, blouses particularly. Um, this is, okay, I, that's always been one of my pet peeves is I wish, I know this is the display number, but if they could just also in parentheses or something, put the real pattern number, this is 8212. Uh, so I like view C. Um, clearly, I think to give yourself some definition, you need to tie it. If, if you want, maybe you don't want that, but she's got a tie and this is what she's wearing. Um, I love the sleeves. You could probably see a theme. I'm liking billowy sleeves, bishop, bishop sleeves. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure if I like this sort of, this dipped hem. Um, but yeah, I definitely like view C. That's, oh, apparently it comes with a hat too. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not into that hat so much, but yeah, view C is why I bought this. Okay, seriously, there's, in a way they're starting to look the same, but this one, um, another blouse that ties at the neck. Um, this one has a dropped shoulder and then it becomes, um, more billowy, if you will, line art will show you. So you've got um, some options here. You've got short sleeve with a little bit of ruffle. You've got the longer sleeve and then this interesting dropped shoulder, which I think would be great for, you know, doing some color blocking or different textured fabric. I think doing like maybe a sheer type fabric here at the bottom sleeve on view C would be nice. So the types of fabrics you would use with this pattern are crepes, lame, lawn, charmeuse, those sorts of nice flowy fabrics. So that's 8042. And then the last pattern I got is a Berta style and this is a top pattern. Whoops. I like the, um, the sort of boat neckline. I guess you could call it that on view B. And then on view A, there's a tie in the back this is for Jersey Knits. Um, I love the little gathering in the sleeve. Are you surprised? Probably not by now. But yeah, I really like uh, View A. I guess View A and View B both have the same neckline. It just looks a little different to me here for some reason. But yeah, I, I like the neckline on this. Um, I just think it's a very nice silhouette. So we'll see what I make with this. That's all. Okay, so those were my patterns that I purchased yesterday. And I did get a cut of fabric. Now, I'm supposed to be on a fabric ban, but I feel like I always say that and I rarely adhere to that. But I saw this double brushed poly. It's over here. Ah. <laughs> and I just love the colors. It's got this dark teal, yellow, and purple. And I really like DBP because it's so buttery soft. Joann's, they're, they're double brush poly. It's really 
good quality. Um, it's thicker, a little bit thicker, which I like. Um, and it is on the warm side because it's, it's a poly, it's kind of thick. And so just be aware of that. Um, when, actually, this is a DBP from Joanne and it can get hot on hot days. Um, and by the way, this is the Agnes top pattern from Chilling the Buttons that I made into a dress. And I actually have a sew along for that, um, for this. So I will link it below. Uh, yeah, but I still, I just love DBP and I had to get this. I got two yards and three, two and three quarter yards. I could have just, like, why didn't you just get three yards? Well, you don't necessarily need three yards and it's not about exactly saving the few dollars. It's more like I don't want to just keep throwing fabric away or, you know, just waste. So I try to get as little, well, the bare minimum. So yeah, I don't get enough for mistakes. Hopefully there are no mistakes. I do have an idea for this um, fabric and I think I'm going to do a sew along for it, but I won't say just yet because I just want to make sure that it is indeed what I'm going to do with it. So stay tuned. Um, oh, and then the next thing on my list is this band roll. So it's 50 yards, one inch. I got at Wawak. And it is $23 for this. And then shipping is $6. So you, many of you have probably seen that video going around where they use a band roll to sew a really tiny hem. So you sew it and then you rip it and then you have your hem. I'm actually just going to link a video for that um, so you can see what I'm talking about. And I want to try that because tiny hems um, yeah, I actually have a rolled hem foot uh, attachment for my machine and I'm just not really good at getting that to work. So until I can master that, I'm going to try the band roll method. Um, so yeah, if you've tried that method, this method, let me know if it works for you. I'm really interested. So that's going to be my experiment. If you hear hissing or gurgling in the background, it's my iron. It's a little bit noisy right now because it's, it's, it's ready to work. All right. So the next two things on my list are these ladies in the back. So last, um, Friday sews the 20th, I had shared with you my Simply Sewing magazine and the patterns it came with. And one of the patterns was the Mayfair dress by Nina Lee. And I had never used a Nina Lee pattern before. So I just decided, heck, I have enough of this. This is a Cupro jersey. I think I got it at a sidewalk sale from So So English a while ago. But um, Serge Fabrics also has really good Cupro jerseys. I love Cupro. So this, I made the Mayfair out of that and I really love this dress. Let me post some pictures so you can see. But what I'm going to do is actually um, go over this dress in more detail and the patterns so this video doesn't take all day. And uh, I just really like it. It's got um, you know, center back pleating and then it comes into a V here. You've got a tie waist. It can be tied in the front. It can be tied in the back. Three quarter length sleeves. This dress is just above my knee as you saw in the pictures. Um, super comfy. It does feel a little bit tight in the shoulder. Um, but I'm not so sure that... But, but it get used to it or something. I don't know. It just seems to kind of mold to me. So I think I'm actually okay with that after all. Um, and then this thing that I'm working on, you're like, well, it doesn't look like much. It's kind of like, um, this is Berta, why is that pattern? So it's Berta 6608, and it is basically a knit sheath dress. And this is in um, a knit, it feels like a ponte, it's like foiled, as you can see, silver and black. It's got a facing. Uh, they finish it off with a facing, which I don't know if I'm crazy about. And if I made this dress again, I don't know if I would finish it with a facing. And then they actually want you to top stitch like an inch or so down, which I'm not going to do. I'm figuring out exactly how I'm going to finish this off. Um, 
But it's also got fisheye darts in the back to give it a little bit of shaping so you just don't look like a tin can. Well, I'm calling it a tin can because this is like silver. So my idea for this dress is to wear it with, um, you know, a long cardigan during the fall with black tights and black booties. I think that will look nice. So, um, yeah, so hopefully... You know how some things just don't look good on their own? You have to have all the right accessories. I think this might be one of those um, dresses where this one, in my opinion, you can throw it on and I think look pretty good. You don't need to have the right shoes and the right um, jewelry or whatever. I think this could look, I don't know, we'll see how it turns out. I'm not sure yet. I don't know, I'm just blabbering on. But yeah, so that's what I'm working on. So I think what I'll do is post a video maybe um, with these two together or at least this one separately and be more detail about my opinion on the pattern and the construction. But I think for now that is all that I have. Um, so yeah, I've been getting some stuff done. I'm really happy about that. Uh, I hope that you've been sewing and let me know what projects you're working on or new favorite patterns that you have and I will see you next week.